Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the fourth part of gate aptitude series. This series we are taking questions which are from the aptitude portion of the gate exam. If you have not watched the previous three part of it, please do check out the description of this video. I will also link the playlist in the i button so that you can watch the entire playlist. All right. So today in this video, I'm going to take questions which are based on train and speed. Now these types of questions are quite common, especially in gate exam or CSI net exam in any of the uh, app like exam where aptitude portion are, are asked, chances of questions from train and speed are quite common and there are a lot of people who do mistake in solving these type of questions. So I'll try to tell you some basic things which you should keep in mind in order to like uh, never make mistake in this and always solve these questions easily and carefully. At the end of this video, I will also give you some questions so that you can practice them out so that it becomes easy for you and you also understand the concept of your own. Before getting into it, uh, if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed the channel, please do consider subscribing it. Uh, that motivates me to make more videos for you guys. All right. Now, without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. All right, so to understand the concept, first of all, you should know about speed, distance and time. There is a very basic formula, which I guess almost all of you know, but just to revise it, there is a formula between speed, distance and time known as speed is equals to distance upon time. You can make different formulas from here, like distance is going to be equal to speed into time and time will be basically equal to distance upon speed. So you can convert anything whatever is needed you can convert into one another now you only need to remember one of them others you can simply do so no need to remember the other ones just understand one of them now we will understand different conditions because see this is the only thing which you are going to apply there is nothing else which you have to do you have to just apply this particular formula that's all but what speed you have to consider in a condition what distance needs to be considered in a condition what and how to calculate time that is the thing which we will discuss upon so for that we will look upon certain conditions or i would say certain types of questions which are asked in exam so i have written down some conditions over here uh, the first condition over here is when the train passes by an object which has no width that means the object does not have any width just like a pole okay if it if the train passes a pole or if it passes a human being or a person so the question will be given that a train passes a person in so and so minutes or so and so seconds find out the speed of the train or it will say that the speed of the train is so and so and it passes a pole uh, tell what is going to be the time taken okay so that's how they are going to ask so whenever this type of condition is asked the speed is going to remain same okay so i'm i'm expressing speed as s the speed will remain as it is whatever speed they have given that is going to remain the speed and the distance you have to consider as the length of the train okay so the distance will be length of train understand that when the train passes by an object with no width like pole or human being or a person in that case the length of the distance you have to consider in the formula as equal to the length of the train now let's take another condition where train passes an object which has some width okay some object which has some width for example a train passes a platform or a train passes another stationary train or a train passes a home or a house okay whose length or something is given to you in those conditions you your your speed they might ask you about the speed or they might might ask you how much time it takes so speed is going to remain again the same you are not going to change the speed here but the distance is going to change and the distance will be length of train length of train plus length of length of object okay for example if the train is 150 meter long and it passes a platform which is 50 meter long so they ask you it passes in let's say 10 minutes so what is going to be the speed of train so the total distance will be 150 that is of train plus 50 that is of platform so total distance which train has to cover is 200 meters this uh, like uh, train length and plus your object length speed will be given to you or might ask might be asked to you and the time might be given to you or it might be asked to you the main important thing is to understand about the distance over here in these two conditions we will take some questions at the end of this video okay so stay tuned for that 
let's look upon certain more conditions which can be uh, which can be there all right so the previous conditions were for the stationary conditions when the train was moving and the other object was stationary like pole or platform but what happens when another or the the other thing is also in a motion other thing is also in a relative motion so these are the condition when the train crosses another moving train okay so both the trains are moving over here now two things are possible either both of them will be moving in the same direction or both of them will be moving in the opposite direction now here the concept of relative velocity is going to come so for example i will consider that let's say i have two trains i have two trains over here let's say this is train a and i have another train uh, which is train b so let's say that the speed of train a is uh, s a and the speed of train b is s b so considering this i will tell you about how the speed and the and the distances are going to be measured so let's say that our two trains are moving in the same direction when they are moving in the same direction the relative speed or the overall speed is going to be the subtraction of both of them okay so uh, the overall speed will be the subtraction or the difference of both of them so i can say that s a minus s b whatever is bigger that you have to subtract means whatever is smaller you have to subtract from the bigger value okay so i will write down that the speed will be difference of speeds okay that is going to be your overall effective speed and what will be the distance so distance will be uh, sum of length of both trains okay so if let's say the train a is of length let's say l a and train b is of length l b then the distance in this case is going to be l a plus l b so distance will be sum of both the uh, length of the train whereas the speed will be difference of both of them when when the train are traveling in both in the same direction now let's assume that these two trains are are moving in the opposite direction one is moving in the right side the other one is moving in the left side and they are crossing each other okay in that case the overall speed or the effective speed will be sum of both the speeds so that is going to be s a plus s b or you will say that the overall speed will be sum of speeds of both the train okay so that will be your overall effective speed and the distance will remain same that is the distance will remain same that is length of both the trains or uh, sum of length of both the trains okay so these are four conditions which you are going to come across either the train will be crossing some stationary object with width or without width and then the train might be crossing another moving train uh, in the same direction or opposite direction so these are the four condition and these are the four uh, uh, like speed and distance things which you are going to come across apart from knowing the formula you should also know how to convert speed from uh, kilometer per hour to meter per second okay that is very important so we know that one kilometer has 1000 meters and one hour is having 60 minutes or i would say 3600 seconds okay so this conversion you should know now if your speed is given in if you have a speed in kilometer per hour and you want to convert that in uh, a speed in meter per second so since one kilometer per hour can be simply written as one kilometer has 1000 meter whereas one hour has 3600 second if you solve this this becomes 5 by 18 uh, meter per second so it is this number which you have to remember so when you have to convert a speed which is in kilometer per hour you have to convert that into meter per second what you will do you will multiply by 5 by 18 so if you multiply by 5 by 18 your speed will get converted from kilometer per hour to meter per second whereas if you have to convert uh, a speed which is already given in meter per second and you want to convert that into a speed in kilometer per hour that means reverse of that in that case you need to multiply by 18 by 5 so you have reversed this also because this thing has been changed you have to reverse this also okay if you remember these things it becomes very easy for you to do the conversions because sometimes they might uh, give you the speed in different values and they might ask answer in a particular value so it should be very important for you to know the conversion now i'm going to take a question which was asked in the previous year of gate exam and we will see how to solve that particular question 
Now, this was a question which was asked in GATE uh, 2016 exam. The question says that it takes 10 seconds and 15 seconds respectively for two trains traveling at different constant speeds to completely pass a telegraph post. The length of the first train is 200 meter and that of the second train is 150 meters. The magnitude of difference of the speed of the two trains is being asked. The first thing is when you uh, like basically they have given you that this much time it takes for both the trains to cross a telegraph post. Now this is the first condition which we have studied that means the train is crossing a stationary object and that too which, which does not have a width. Telegraph post is a pole or a post that does not have a width. So the length in this case is going to be equal to the length of the train or the distance will be equal to the length of the train. They are asking is the magnitude of difference of the speed. So for that we need to find out the speeds of both the trains. So let's assume that we have two trains. We have uh, let's say train A and we have a train B. The length of train A, the length of train A is given to you as 120 meters whereas the length of train B is given to you as 150 meters. Then they have given you that the time which is taken by first train is 10 seconds whereas the other train is basically 15 seconds. So the time is 15 seconds. Now what you have to find out is speed. So we know that speed is equals to distance upon time and we know that the length of the train is going to behave or is going to be used as the distance of the train or the distance covered because uh, it is passing a stationary object with no width. So I can simply say that the speed in this case will be 120 divided by 10 and that is going to give me 12 meter per second. Why meter per second? Because length is in meter and time is in second so meter per second. What about the second train? So for the second train if I have to calculate speed so that will be 150 divided by 15 and that is going to give me 10 meter per second. Now in the question they were not asking about the speed but the difference in the speed okay. So magnitude of difference in the speed what will be the difference between both of them. So that is going to be 2 units or the correct answer is option number A that is 2 units. So it was as simple as that you just need to understand that how it is happening. Now this was asked in gate 2016. I will give you one question so that you can also practice. Actually I will give you two questions so that you can practice and you can let me know in the comment section below what answers did you got okay okay so this is your first homework question it says that a train which is 300 meter long is running with the speed of 54 kilometer per hour in what time it will pass a bridge which is 150 meter long now this is question from the second condition where uh, the object is a stationary but it has some width so first of all your total distance will be sum of length of train and the length of bridge speed is given to you in kilometer per hour so you have to convert that speed in meter per second first of all and then you have to use the formula to find out time so this is homework for you i hope every one of you will be able to answer this please do let me know in the comment section what answer did you guys got for this let's see another question which is homework question second and here it says that two trains are moving in opposite directions with a speed 60 km per hour and 90 km per hour respectively. Their length are 1.1 km and 0.9 km respectively. The time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train in second is. Now this is again from your condition number 3 where the two trains are actually moving. Uh, there is a relative motion which is here and they are moving in opposite directions. So your total or your the speed the overall speed will be sum of both these speeds because they are moving in the opposite direction. So it will be sum of both the speed. So you can just simply do it and the speed is in kilometer per hour. So it will remain in kilometer per hour. Just do it. And then the distance is going to be the sum of both the length. Okay. That is always done when two things are moving and crossing each other. So 1.10 plus 0.9 kilometers. Using this you will get the speed, overall speed, overall time, uh, overall distance, you need to find out time, that's all, okay. So your time which will come will be in hours, you have to convert that into seconds to get the correct answer. So that conversion you have to do in order to get the correct answer. I hope every one of you will be able to do it. I would like to see your answers in the comment section below. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have understood this concept. And I hope this is going to be helpful for you. So see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day.
Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category, and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an Academy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an Academy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there, and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.